Hello and welcome back to another Wars and Seas 1 Civic County YouTube video. Today we're going to take a look at the new update that includes a scanner for criminals and two new vehicles for the civilian team, as long with bloom settings to make your game look better, as you can already see. Let's go through all of it. So if you go to the tool store, you can go ahead and pick up this new scanner. This is, the scanner allows you to read the police radio and view the locations of nearby cops. Once activated, the scanner will last for several minutes, one time use only, then you may purchase another. Now it's um, only for 7 minutes you can do this, and it, you can read the police radio and view the locations of nearby cops. So let's go ahead and test this out. As soon as you pull out your police radio, it will last for 7 minutes and it will show a live radio feed of what cops are saying. And if you look at the map, it shows exactly where the cops near me are and this little orange circle right here is where it shows all the cops so if i was hiding under this bridge i would like the one because i see there's a cop nearby if i was about to rob an atm i would pull up my scanner and see oh my gosh there's a cop nearby i probably shouldn't rob this atm in front of them so this is incredibly useful pull out and see whatever these cops are saying and you can see all your numbers too, so you can probably like stalk them and stuff. That's gonna be fun. I can't wait to use that more often. Let's see what happens when it ends off. And just a heads up, using this police radio is not against the law. So you can stalk them all you want, and it won't give you a want to level, so they can do absolutely nothing about you stalking them, which is great. So as you can see, my radio is about to run out. It's only on 1%. And now it says, the battery on your scanner has died, you may purchase a new one at the tour store. So it only lasts for 7 minutes, which is actually a pretty long time to stalk cops. Now let's move on to the next part of the SF. So we just got a Dodge Durango for the police team, but now we have one for the civilian team. It's $79,500, so $79,000, almost $80,000. Pretty expensive and that explains it because it is pretty fast and it looks beautiful it is a sport SUV after all and it just looks great now this thing um it's the same as the police one it looks the exact same I don't know if there's a skylight on the police one though and of course it doesn't have the police rims or the police license plate so that's gonna be cool to use in more role plays on by the civilian team and then we also got a vehicle upgrade we already had the 1984 toyota mr2 but now it looks new with lights that pop out now this one um it's a classic so you will need the classic game pass and if you buy it for i'm pretty sure forty nine thousand dollars it was um you can spawn it in and it looks great it has these nice blinkers and guess what Boom, here's the headlights. And just look at those rims. It's very classic, very drifty. This is, and it's way stubborn, it feels like. I can't wait to get into some chases with this thing, with this nice spoiler and back window. And that's it for all the new vehicles in this update. Let's go on to the bloom effect. Now you've been looking at this video and you've been wondering, why does it look like you have shaders on? And I'm gonna tell you what, it's not shaders, it's a new setting in your game settings. So, if you click your little local settings icon, go to the bottom, you can choose um, what the bloom effect is. It's a glare effect, sometimes you see when you're looking at bright objects. You can turn this down for this effect, turn it up for intense to intensify the effect. Default is the median setting. We recommend only changing this if you know what bloom is. So I have my bloom at max and the game just looks two times better. And if you go ahead and look, it also says updated game lighting, so that also adds to it. Let's move on to the gale buying with Robux on law enforcement teams. Okay, so now I'm on an account that has nothing, zero XP, it doesn't have any of the tools. So the white shield is for cadets, anyone can use it. 
the Tazel. You can either be an officer or you can buy it for 30 Robux. Stop stick. You can buy it a, for, you can either be corporal and get it for 35 Robux. Um, and everything else is for game passes. And this isn't the only team where these items change. If you go to, oh, I almost forgot. Guns. You can buy all these with Robux. You can get the uh, Captain Gun for 53 Robux. The M4A1 for 40 Robux. The Glock for 35. The Shotgun for 30. The SWAT is the SWAT Game Pass. And the Cadet is completely free. And this is also, um, it's, it says for emergency teams, but there's no items that uh, require any unlockings on any of the other teams. So that's gonna be fun um, for people that don't want to grind XP. Because, for example, if you're in a private server and XP doesn't save, you can just buy it all with, for pretty cheap with Robux, like only 30 Robux. It's pretty cheap, so roleplay is gonna get better. Now there is a lot of bug fixes and improvements, so we're gonna go each through each of them very fast. Now these two colors right here both used to be called black metallic, but that's not black, that's blue, so it's been renamed the midnight blue. Now it's pretty hard to see, but now there's a beam just like on your headlights. It's pretty hard to see, but there's a beam that comes out of the light. Now there's already lights, but now there's a beam that follows it. For all guns on the police team, because we're the only ones with fast light. See, now it's easier to see. Now the timer looks different. For when you die, it says the timer's in the middle and there's no button to stay right away. And so that's different. They fixed civilian guns being removed while leaving during combat on police team. They fixed if you get tased while being on stretch roll, you go flying into the air. Fixed when you get tased well down, you're able to literally walk around as, um, I don't know, walk around as a zombie. Um, thin nine license plates should have the tech centered. I never knew it wasn't centered. You can now put kick reasons, you just have to type kick liberty trooper 2 for being a noob. And then it kicks them for that reason exactly. You should you should be able to kick people with reasons now. Like you put kick and then you put the reason they were kicked, but it's not working right now. You used to be able to run by clicking normal um, with the stretcher, but that's been fixed. The survey or support timer has been reduced to ten minutes to only six minutes, and. If you were to locate someone now, instead of it flashing red and blue like a cop, it will now show um, red and gray. Because it used to flash red and blue, um, now that we have the police scanners, the police flash red and blue, and the criminals flash red and gray, so they don't look like cops anymore. The message for when the helicopter returns is now better for each of the reasons. Like it says, suspect is handcuffed. I mean, I already said that, but now they're just better rewarded. Now, if you say to call if you're an admin on the stretcher, it will actually bring you to call instead of staying on the stretcher. If you're being held in handcuffs and the cop dies like this, you will actually no longer get glitched and stuck in state and handcuffs. You will be able to move freely without being glitched. Well, that's it for this new update stuff. And there's a lot of it. It even says in the update description, there's a lot. So, if you enjoyed that update, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get notified when there's other updates. You can go ahead and play the game too if you want to check out updates. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.